I am going to show you the next exercise where you, will, you have to practice about basic drawings. This is the shape which we are going to draw. Okay. So let's start. I have prepared the grid which is 0 0.60 of width and height as well. So each and every block is 0 0.6. Now we are proceeding with the drawing. We are starting from this corner. Okay. Where my cursor is uh, indicating, isn't it? Let's start. L enter. I am clicking on this point and moving towards the last, uh, second last grid. Okay. So I am going here. Okay. Now moving upward. Next. Completing this block and coming specifically half down. That means 0 0.6, half of 0 0.6 is 0 0.3, point F8 should be on, okay, ortho should be on, ortho mode on, so I will type here 0 0.3, isn't it? Now I move towards left hand. one block and I will go upward okay which is also 0 0.3 height now coming back to the next grid completing the grid and now I will move diagonally for that I need to off the ortho mode isn't it I will just click on ortho mode off and then I will drag diagonally towards here. Now I will define the next point here. Similarly, I repeat the mirror view, isn't it? I am going to repeat the mirror view this way. I will go down. 0.3 then complete the block okay just follow the grid and you will complete the whole drawing is that it now this point okay I will go one block right and then click diagonally here Okay, the next point will be diagonally here. Okay, then move leftward, complete the static point. Just clicking on a static point and closing it. Okay, so this way I have completed this whole drawing. Now I will increase the line weight, isn't it? Increase the line width by some thickness, adding some thickness. Isn't it? Okay. This way it will be differentiated between the normal line and the grid line. Mass properties. Using mass properties here. Okay. So this is not a complicated drawing that need much more explanation. It is the regular basic practice drawing which you can create as a beginner. So I am not elaborating much more. Match properties is for defining the similar properties of any object. Okay.
so this way i have created the object which is similar to the previous one uh, before starting the drawing you need to create the grid the grid uh, distance is 0.6 upward and 0.6 uh, right hand that means x is 0.6 and y towards y it, it would be 0.6 isn't it in previous practice we we used to choose the block of 0.5 now in uh, here it's 0.6 uh, you can measure it and so dli enter okay it's the, it's showing here 420 similarly you can also get the value of okay 360 3.60 4.20 now the distance of uh, a single block d i enter first point and next one okay it's showing here delta x is equal to 0 0.60 so all you have to do is to prepare a graph prepare grid and then move your command use line command and move your cursor towards the drawing is not it so i'm closing this exercise please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe it it's really going to help you.